Hello, everybody. How are you today? I want to talk about getting your movies made in a very specific way, which is a little bit of a bigger way, but maybe a harder way, but maybe not such a hard way. And that is with bankable cast. If you want to make a movie, you want to get a budget, you want to do it with some business manner, you need bankable cast. And guess what? It's not the hardest thing in the world to do. It is a niche industry for sure you got to be in it you got to know the people and it helps to have some work under your belt but not necessary entirely okay there are a lot of great actors out there that will work with first and second time directors in fact my, i myself am getting ready to do my next film i'm a second time director i've only just directed one film i'll be going to direct my second film next and now we are out to cast let's call the actor that we're out to actor x okay we're not going to name names right now we're out to an actor who everyone knows is a wonderful actor. And should they say yes, the movie goes into production. Now, there are a lot of great actors out there that have value on the marketplace that will allow your financiers to feel comfortable to some extent spending the money they have to spend because they know they can get some kind of a sale off that actor based off of whatever. So, you know, there are actors that will work with new directors that can help you to secure your financing. And there are financiers out there that will finance your film so long as you get said actor, okay? Yeah, it becomes the chicken or the egg thing, but usually you have a good project, good script, you can, and you can isolate these companies that are financing films in this way. You can approach them, try to build a relationship over a period of time, However, you have to do that. Show some of your work. Hopefully you've made a short film at minimum, something, your screenplay, something. Get the opportunity and say, this is what I'd like to do. I'd like to go to this actor and see if you can broker a deal where they say, okay, great. We'll support you to try to get this actor. Should you get that actor, you get to go make your movie. Now, however you get into that position, which it's a lot of work to get there. And if you have any more questions about it, comments below. Also like and subscribe. Give us that love. It's a free thing to do and it really helps myself and what we're doing here with this channel. Um, so you get to that position where you're making the offer to the actor. What can you expect? Well, let's talk about that. Actors are busy. It's a weird world. I've heard all kinds of crazy stories about producers attaching actors in their films, et cetera, et cetera. Sometimes it can take a while, all right? Patience is a virtue. It can take time. There are certainly stories where it's like going out to talent, would like to get this actor, we're making an offer. And the agents sometimes respond. Sometimes they don't even respond. Sometimes you send an offer and they're radio silent. And you could be sending millions of dollars as an offer and just nothing back from you. To me, that's just insanity. It's rude craziness but it happens it happens all the time it's part of the game can't take it personal you have to find a way to build it. that's that's why it's a business of relationships and that is very true so if you do want to make films if you are making films do not neglect your relationships and think long term so you make an offer maybe you don't hear back from the agency you gotta follow up you have to talk to them hey what's going on here maybe you can show money in the bank Maybe the person who you're making the offer with, your financier, has a track record. So they know, okay, this is a real offer. You know, we can take this seriously. All those things make it better. You make the offer. Now you might have to be patient. Sometimes you'll hear back like this. Other times, you have to wait. Maybe the actor's shooting something. Maybe they're busy. They haven't read it yet. Maybe they have a lot of things to read, right? Here's another thing that happens. Sometimes the agents and reps just use your offer to try to get other offers, to try to negotiate other deals that are happening and they kind of drag you on. Sometimes the agents and reps just want to look good to their client. So they hold offers to the side and wait. So they, they know, okay, this month I've brought some offers to my client. They know they're going to pass. Sometimes there's actors, they just pass on everything. But they need to look like they're working. So they're going to use your offer, the other offers that they have, and stagger them. I mean, it's all kinds of crazy trickery goes on in this business. It's hard to make up from down sometimes. The most important thing is you have to be relentless. 
and cut through. You, you know, don't be afraid to call people, talk to people. These people are all accessible. You know, don't be afraid of anybody. Get out there, especially if you believe in what you're doing. That's the other thing. Make sure you have a good script. Script better be good, you know, because once they do finally read it, they got to like it. So they do your movie. Take care.